equipotential surfaces. Any surface with same electric potential at every point is called an equipotential surface. Electric field is always perpendicular to an equipotential surface and hence work is done in moving a charge between two points on an equipotential surface is zero. W is equal to F bar dot DL bar is equal to Q E bar dot DL bar. As E bar and DL bar are perpendicular, W is equal to zero. Equipotential surfaces help to distinguish regions of strong field from those of weak field. Equipotential surfaces tell the direction of electric field. No two equipotential surfaces intersect each other. In case of a point charge, equipotential surfaces are concentric spherical shells. For a uniform electric field, E along the x-axis, the equipotential surfaces are planes normal to x-axis, that is, planes parallel to yz. Relation between E bar and V. Consider a positive charge point charge plus Q at zero. Let V and V plus dV are potentials at P and Q respectively whose distance from O are R and R minus dL. The amount of work done in moving a test charge Q0 from P to Q is dW is equal to V plus dV minus V of Q0 is equal to dV into Q0 equation 1. If E bar is electric field at P due to plus Q, the force on Q0 is Q0 E away from O. To move Q0 from P to Q, work done against the above force, dW is equal to F bar dot DL bar is equal to Q0 E of DL cos 180 degree is equal to minus Q0 E DL. As distance R decreases in the direction of DL, the distance DL is taken as minus DR. Therefore, above equation become DW is equal to minus Q0 E DR. Equation 2. From 1 and 2, E is equal to minus dV by dr. Thus, E bar may be defined as negative potential gradient.